At times, you might need to work with lengthy data spanning across hundreds of records or maybe even thousands of rows, and you might want to use this data for your presentation. Maybe one major point of your presentation would be to observe the import trend for the entire Europe, and maybe to also highlight a specific country and see how it's working. For example, let's say the United States. I want to see the only the data for the United States. Now, filtering does work. Let's say here we have the extract of global imports that was from the OECD. And here I might want to filter just the United States and I get the data and it's perfect. Now, in order to show this during the presentation, I might probably copy this paste it in a separate worksheet or somewhere aside and show it as a separate table. And then, like I mentioned earlier, I would also want to look at the European data. So select this and click OK and refer to this. Well, that's very much doable. But thing is, in case if you do not have the bandwidth or maybe it's too much of a clutter to have multiple data points over here, why do you need to create multiple data points when you can only show directly from your main data table? Well, it appears inconvenient over here, but Excel gives us a relief here as well. There is something called as custom views in Excel. And here in view menu, we can find it under the custom views. And here under the view menu, we can find the custom views. And here under the view menu, you will find custom views. Now custom views here, you can give a name and you can show, you can customize the way how your data will look like. Let me just give you a brief example. First, this is a default view. That means the data, whatever we already have as it is. So I would like to create a base view. I'll click on add. I'll call it default view. Now it asks whether we need to include in view the print settings, hidden rows, the columns, we say okay. That's good to be checked. Now this is the default view. Nothing has changed as of now, but I do not want to make but any further changes that I do from now on, I want to ensure that I come back to this view that it was earlier. So now let's say I need to analyze the data for the United States. So I uncheck this and only select United States. Now we have the data for the United States. I click on custom view. I click on add. And here I'll say USA data. Click OK. And now let me show you. Here we have custom view. If I click on default view and click show, we are back to what it was earlier. Now, in case if I need to just show the US data, then I can click again here, select US data, click on show, and here we have this. Now, let's say we go back again to default view and try some more changes here. Let's say I'm only focusing on Africa. So I might want to filter by Africa. And here's just the data for South Africa among the African nations. Like I said, this is just an extract of the whole data. It's quite humongous. And for the purpose of this video and this session, I just took an extract of this entire data. Now here we have some data for South Africa and I might want to just make this look bigger. So zoom this in and I think I have zoomed in and this is sufficient. So I click on custom view and I say add Africa data, click OK, and you have this. Now let me also add one more view over here. That is, let's say I want Asia and Central America in one place, but I do not want to see the month. So we have some rows over here filtered and then I don't want to see the month column. I might want to hide this. Let's say I hide it. Now this looks quite large. So let me zoom this out. Now this looks 
just fine. Now here, based on this view, I'll create another custom view and call it Asia and Central America. Click OK. Now here we have this. I click on custom view. We have four such views right here. Everything arranged alphabetically, but that does not matter. Now, let me click on default view. We have the row that was hidden has come back again. Now, if I change this to, let's say, Africa data, remember, while we were selecting Africa data, apart from filtering African records, we had also zoomed in slightly. So let's click on show and you see the data is zoomed in. So whichever way or the layout or the style that you apply to this data set and set, give a name to that view, you have that custom view. Now moving on, let us test uh, the views uh, that we had prepared. So we had Asia and Central America. If you remember, we had hidden the last column that was month. Let's click on show. Okay, it zoomed out because it, it is back to what it was earlier. That's 100% zoom rate and we had that column D hidden again. Now if I click on this and click US data, here we have that column again and we have USA data. Now if you were to click default view, everything is back again to normal. So with this way, we can create many other views that we need and at the point of discussion during our meetings, we might just cl click on the specific views that we need and click on show and we have it. This saves us from too much of redundant data in our file and that also helps save the performance of the system as well as Excel. Now custom views over here is always available under the view menu and you have custom views over here you can select and show as I mentioned but now let's say you do not want to click anywhere as such you just want a shortcut. So in order to get a shortcut here at the top of the window you have save, undo, redo and this is save as. Similarly you can have another button over here or an icon for custom views. Let me show you how. In order to get this either you can click on this drop down here and click on more commands. You come to this window. Well in case if you are unable to get this icon or you do not see this button over here there is an alternate way to reach here as well. Click on file menu. Under this you have more. Well, in some systems, maybe you might not be able to see it first glance, depending on the screen resolution. Maybe you might want to scroll down slightly and you can see that. Under more, look for options. Now, under options, you have quick access toolbar. Now, click on quick access toolbar, you come back again to the same window. Now, what we are looking for is custom filter. Here, these are the list of some popular commands that we generally use or generally the users of Excel use day in and out. But what we are looking for is something different. So here in the dropdown, under instead of popular commands, we'll select all commands. Now that's a humongous list of all commands here. Now we need to scroll down till we find custom views. So we scroll down. And here we have custom views. You can either double click on that or select it and click on add. And that's it, we have it. We have auto save, save, undo, redo, save as. And now next to save as you will see custom views icon as well. Click okay. And here you have this. You see this bar? Here now I want to just change this to US data. Well. Now well, that's quite convenient here. Africa data, that's zoomed in. I come back to default view and then Asia Central. That's it. Now this is quite interesting here. Now if you are into working with tons of data and you frequently need to use custom views, it's wise to have or it would be quite convenient to have a shortcut over here that can be easily accessible as and when you need. 
But you need to understand one thing that every time you add something to the quick access list over here, it just clutters this space as well. So ensure that you have tools that are relevant to your work because as we proceed in Excel, there will be one or one more tool that we will discuss about. Right? Totally depends on the frequency of your usage. If you need it quite often, better have a shortcut here. Else, you might anytime come back to the view menu and on the view you have custom views and that's it.